You know, there's three things that are really important about what we do because those three things must work together in order for us to be successful in revitalizing our state. Those things are th three things are really simple. It's all these students that we have here and all of you talent. You know, talent is, I think, the new currency in economic development. That's my new little buzz term. Uh, everything is all about tax credits and other things, but the reality is in the economic development world right now, those locations that have the talent have the ability to be successful in growing businesses. Whether it's existing companies or startups, it is all about talent. Every single company that I talk to, that's the first thing they say. So it's really exciting that the young people are here, and hopefully there's something that I say that will resonate with you that will encourage you to think about finding your first opportunity or next opportunity here in the state of Michigan. The second thing that's a part of that formula of talent is, of course, businesses. Uh, so, you know, talent might go there because it's a cool place to be, but if the businesses don't show up in force to provide the kind of opportunities they're looking for, the talent won't stay. So a cool place has to have uh, cool businesses. But, you know, businesses and talent need to have cool places, right? So you get my circular logic here. Cool places only exist when communities make the kind of investments that it takes to really enjoy what you have here tonight. So it's talent, it's business and, and job creation, and then it's cool cities, having cities that are vibrant. You know, and if you have them, you can be successful. If you don't have them, you're not. And at one point, we were number 49 out of the 50 states. We were second worst when it came to the business tax. Michigan is now in the top, uh, I think, six or seven. Right? We've, we've, we've dramatically changed our business tax climate. And in doing so, you now encourage companies to locate here. What we do as an organization is that we introduce companies to each other who might be able to do business with each other. Well, I can see the kids back there saying, well, that's not all that cool. <laughs> that's just straightforward. That should be normal, right? Introducing businesses to each other who can do business together. But interestingly enough, that was not something that the MEDC ever did. And we've now looked at our peers around the country, and we're not finding any other state that's taken business-to-business -business connections as a serious opportunity for economic prosperity, for job growth and creation. In Michigan, uh, we've been very, very fortunate because we have hundreds of companies who are now participating in the program. And as of this, the end of this year, we're on target to hit about $2 billion of facilitated business-to-business -business activity. We've created an incredible brand right? And just by putting the word pure in front of it and then wrapping around it and presenting in all the, 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 uh, the marketing materials, all these incredible assets that we have, it causes the general public to understand just how exciting a place Michigan is to vacation, to visit, to spend your discretionary dollars. That's what the whole Pure Michigan campaign is about. Uh, we've, we've benchmarked more than $1.1 billion of additional uh, tourism spend as a result of the Pure Michigan campaign. And that actually generates a positive revenue stream to our state uh, in tax dollars. We estimate that to be about $79 million based on the $1.1 billion.